Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we will be talking about how to divide integers using tic-tac-toe. This is a cool and fun stuff once again. So let's go ahead and look at this very first example. You can see that we have placed all positive and negative signs in this tic-tac-toe. So how we place them, first of all you can see on the main diagonal you can see only the positive signs. The rest are negative signs. Now the next thing what we're going to see is how these positive and negative signs going to behave when it comes to dividing them. So let's go ahead and divide. So positive divided by negative would always result into negative. Negative divided by positive is going to give us negative and finally negative divided by negative would result in positive. So sometimes people use instead of this division sign they use a, like a oblique or slash like this one division sign. So positive divided by negative is going to give you a negative once again minus our negative divided by positive is going to give you negative and finally negative divided by negative is going to give you positive. Those are the really simple kind of building blocks that are very crucial when it comes to dividing integers. So let's go ahead and define integers. What are the integers right now? You're going to see integers. Integers are nothing more than just the whole numbers with the positive and negative signs including zeros. As you can see over here on this number line, so right here 0 and all these on the right hand side are the counting numbers. So they are all positive. And on the left hand side of this 0 are negative signs. And you can see one thing, just keep in your mind when you go towards right, the numbers tend to increase. And if you go towards left, number tend to decrease. And one more thing I want to tell you that integers will never be a fraction. So let's do a few examples right now. Let's look at this very first example right up here. We've been asked to divide negative 8 divided by negative 2. So we know that negative and negative, when you divide them, that becomes positive. And we know that 8 divided by 2 is always 4. So we got positive 4 or simply we can write as 4. That's your answer. How about look at this example over here in this same thing, we in a different form when we have a slash, like a division bar, or we call it viniculum. V-I-N-C-U-L-U-M, viniculum. So over here, once again, negative and negative, when you divide negative, negative become positive, and two goes into a, to a, a how much? Four. So we got positive 4, so that's going to be simply 4 is our answer. How about next example you could see over here? So negative 8 divided by positive 2 once again. Negative divided by positive would always be negative. 8 divided by 2 is going to be 4, so our answer is negative 4. Likewise, over here in this kind of notation, Negative and positive would give you negative. 2 goes into 8, 4. So your answer is going to be a negative 4 as well. Let's do a few more examples and see what happens. How about this one? Once again, positive divided by negative is going to be always negative. 8 divided by 2 is negative 4 and that is our answer. Let's look at this kind of notation. Negative and positive, when they divide, that's going to give you negative. 2 goes into 8, 4. So our answer is negative 4. And finally, when we have a positive 8 divided by positive 2, positive divided by positive is always positive. 
2 goes into 8, how much? 4. So we got positive 4 or simply what? 4. And over here in this case, this is what? Positive divided by positive is positive. 2 goes into 8, how much? 4. So our answer is positive 4. So that's pretty much it about dividing integers. Thanks for watching.